guys and welcome to another studio vlog. This is a bit of a chaotic week. I'm super super excited but I'm also super super anxious just wanting everything to go well. So I'm trying to remember where we left off last week. So since I last saw you we had my shop update and it went so well anyone that ordered thank you guys so much you literally exceeded my expectations and we ended up selling out of four out of the five notebooks within minutes i was not expecting that to go that well because usually when i do spiral notebooks they in the past haven't sold well but i'm so excited that you guys liked them so good news for anyone that didn't get those is i do have more notebooks on the way i just did like so many restocked orders it's insane we have notebooks in production we have more of those like artificial leather bound notebooks in production we have more acrylic book lovers lane decor in production we have another new acrylic book lovers lane decor in production bookmarks notepads there, there's a lot in production right now i'm trying to washi tape I'm trying to keep up with it all but this is a chaotic week because i am packing up book sleeve orders packing up shop update orders and this just so happens to be the week that i am packing up the monthly bookmark and sticker clubs so it all kind of fell together and it's just me packing them all up so trying to get as much done as possible in a day that i can um i've been having a hard time because my insomnia has just been so so bad and i've been like not able to fall asleep until like 3 a.m and then i get up at 8 every morning so if i look tired that's why and the other reason this is a bit of a chaotic but super exciting week is because my subscription box is going up for pre-order for the very first time. So I don't know if you guys know this, but I've actually been working on and building this box for the past two years. Probably a little bit more than that. Starting a subscription box is something I've always wanted to do, but have always been a bit intimidated to do it because, I mean, the logistics of running a subscription box it's totally different than having launches and shipping the orders. So I've actually been taking a course for the past several, six or seven months, learning how to run a subscription box and shipping timeframes, how early to buy products in advance. And I'm excited. Uh, tomorrow is actually the day, well, tomorrow for me, for when this video goes up, it will have happened like almost a week ago at this point, but tomorrow is the day that I'm revealing all the products and the designs for the first box. This Saturday is when pre-orders will open for the waitlist subscribers, and I'm, I'm excited. So, we're gonna pack orders first, but I'm thinking probably tomorrow I'm gonna show you guys everything that's in the box, because I have a lot to do today, and we gotta get that done. So I feel like in all my order packing videos, I feel like they always start out with me making magnetic bookmarks. And that's because my magnetic bookmarks and traditional bookmarks, so like bookmarks in general, are basically my best sellers. And because I have so many bookmark designs, I actually looked it up the other day. Combining both magnetic bookmarks and traditional bookmarks, I have over 400 bookmark designs. I make all the magnetic bookmarks to order so anytime anybody orders one i set it up the night before in my software and i will make it the next day so i don't have them like sitting around just like pull and make so that's why i always start out the videos making this <laughs> because that's what i do literally every single work day that is what i do that's how my day always starts taking a quick break to go do errands with my mom. I have not left the house in a few days, so I wanted to get out of the house. So we're gonna do that, and then I'm gonna start packing orders when we get back. In 
and we're back. So, time to start packing orders. I just started a new audiobook. It's called House of Beating Wing. I don't know if any of you have read it. Let me know if you have. And it's a fantasy. It's really good. I read the blurb, but I'm a bit confused at this point about what's happening or like who the love interest is. So, we'll find out, but so far it is really really good and the audiobook is really cool because the uh, narrator just has this beautiful accent and it's just very immersive and I just really love it so I'm gonna get that turned on and get some book sleeves and launch orders packed. <laughs> Almost out of Happy Things stickers. Whoa! <laughs> I'm always getting stuck in these things. It's a wonder I don't fall. getting there I think we are three-fourths of the way done if not a little bit over half so we're getting there <laughs> mm. it never ceases to amaze me to just make me feel so grateful and fill me up with so much joy when I someone buys like this many bookmarks that just means the world to me, so I'm so glad that you guys like my art enough to get that many bookmarks. It's amazing. guys it is thursday morning yesterday kind of ended super chaotic but we're back in the studio today and today is a day i'm very nervous for it is product reveal day for my quarterly subscription box and i am so nervous i think i just it's weird i've never been this nervous about a product launch before but i think it's because i've been like talking about this and hyping this box up and just making it this big thing, which it is for me. It is a very big thing in my business, but I'm just hoping it lives up to everybody's expectations because I, just the whole purpose of my business is I like to make art that people's, that makes people feel happy and just makes them feel like a kid on Christmas morning. And I just don't want to like let anybody down. So I just really hope everybody likes it. 
I'm hopeful. So I actually wanted to show you guys what's in the box. So this video is going up a week after the product reveal. However, if you guys haven't seen that yet, I wanted to be the first to show you. So without further ado, here are the products. So the theme is late night reading and the first item in the box will be this laminated bookmark and then we have some sticky notes which feature a bookshop in a cute cotton candy color palette. Then we have a scrunchie because I don't know about you guys but I cannot function without my scrunchies. And then there's also going to be a notepad with a cute light pink sky scene for jotting down notes late at night and then to go along with the stationery we also have a kind of like a late night washi tape and i think my favorite product in the box is we have a tote bag it has been a very long time since i did a tote bag and this is the box so the waitlist pre-order access is closing soon but if you didn't get on the waitlist i will be opening up a limited amount of boxes for everyone on saturday june 17th at 11 a.m eastern time okay i hope you like them let me know what you guys think um i am spending all of today and tomorrow and probably the next day on Saturday packing up the monthly bookmark club and sticker clubs for June this month's sets both sold out that hasn't happened in a while and I'm so so grateful the theme was a night at book lovers lane so I'm, I'm so happy everybody liked that so I am going to get my desk set up for packing those and I'm gonna get that done This is how many orders we have to pack for the monthly clubs. We have, forget if it's like 4.30 or 4.50 or something like that. But these are the times where I wish I had like part-time or full-time help because I would be able to get this, all of these done so much faster if I had help. But it's just me and these hands packing every single order. So I'm gonna stop talking and see how much we can get done today. I just shared the designs for the Emily Cromwell Designs box on Instagram, newsletter, TikTok, Facebook. I cannot even begin to tell you how overwhelmed I am with gratitude of how nice people are being and how much they love the products. I've just been building this box for two years and I have just been so nervous to share the designs. I don't know if any other artist feels this way. Sometimes it just gets really intimidating and nerve-wracking to share your designs and your artwork because to me it just feels I feel so vulnerable sharing it because my artwork is like I always say that like every piece every artwork that I do is like another piece of my soul and I put my whole heart into every single drawing that I do and it's just really sometimes just scary to put yourself out there that vulnerable and just lay it all out there and be like this is me do you like it and it's hard too because as with the world of the internet you never know who your stuff is gonna end up in front of so sometimes you do get those comments where maybe aren't the nicest or don't like your art and that's i've learned to like be fine with that because i've learned through my time as an artist and small business owner, I've learned the hard way that you cannot please everybody and it's okay that you can't please everybody. Like, as long as you just keep designing what you love and designing what makes you passionate and makes you excited and happy, the right people will find that and they will appreciate your art because they like what you like and they like your style and they see 
your joy in your artwork. So right after I posted it, somebody commented saying that right when they saw the designs, they just got, their eyes started to water because they loved the design so much. And it was just, I mean, you can't ask for anything better than that. And I'm gonna start crying because I was just so emotional when I read that. And it just, it meant the world to me. So yeah, I just wanted to give you guys an update that I shared it. Everybody's liking it so far. I'm so tired. I got like 140 packs today. I'm very tired. My hands are hurting. So we are done for today. I am going to be working on packing them up um, again tomorrow. We'll see how much I get done tomorrow and probably Saturday. So I'm gonna go take a break and so I might be drawing tonight. If I do, I'm gonna record that. But if not, it'll probably be tomorrow night or Saturday. So we will see. <laughs> So I wasn't sure if I wanted to do any summer designs this year, but I decided that I'm going to do a little bit of a summer launch. So I'm going to do a set of five bookmarks and I'm also going to do some magnetic bookmarks and probably a sticker or two. But this design right here, I wanted to do like a strawberry lemonade book stack design because strawberry lemonade is my favorite drink of all time. I'm honestly drinking it right now while I'm recording this voiceover and I just thought it would be so fun to do like a strawberry book stack with strawberry lemonade on top and with a fun cute little phrase so I'm gonna be doing this design is going to be a magnetic bookmark a sticker and then I'm also going to be reformatting it to be a vertical traditional bookmark and I'm, I'm just really excited about this design and I have a lot of fun more designs planned for the rest of the summer collection and I'm going to be sharing those with you in the next video. Morning, everyone today is launch day I took off filming yesterday because I just had so many monthly clubs to pack I think I got over like 200 to maybe like 220 packed yesterday which is a world record for me it is a record I was just an energizer bunny yesterday so I got a lot done yesterday but today is Finally, I've been waiting two years for today. It's the launch of my Emily Cromwell Designs box, my new quarterly subscription box, and I'm so excited. What's different about this launch is the boxes are available for pre-order at first only for waitlist subscribers, and I have never in my entire 11 years of having a small business, I have never had a launch only be available to newsletter subscribers. It's always like everybody so i'm nervous we'll see how this goes i'm super excited yeah we'll see why am i so nervous i'm like shaky i'm so nervous oh my gosh we are two minutes out Whew. the newsletter just sent 
I sold one so far. Oh, did you just open? Yeah. Oh. This is so exciting. <laughs> Thank you guys. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Thank you. This is so surreal. So surreal. Hi. <laughs> Okay, so I moved down into the studio and I have a lot of unboxings to do. Let's see if I can show you them all. Those are pretty much a quarter of the deliveries we got this week. Some of them I think I have an idea of what they are. Some of them I think are new products for my Bookish Dreams collection. Other stuff are restocks, so let's open them up. So this first one is fabric for book sleeves. That came out so cute. So I'm thinking I'm going to do this fabric for the August book sleeves. Oh my gosh, that came out so cute. Oh my God, and book of dreams, oh man. Okay, and the Beach Day Essentials fabric, this is going to be July's fabric. Look at that, I'm so excited to do these for book sleeves. And then, so, so you guys remember the Bookish Dreams pattern that I was drawing and I was like, oh, it's going to be um, a bookmark pouch and then possibly a book sleeve. This is the fabric. Oh my gosh, look how cute that turned out. Oh my goodness. Boy, okay. Next up, pretty sure these are bookmark pouches. All right. See if I can cut into this without cutting any of the bags, that would be great. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! This is literally just a bag of happiness, guys. Okay, here we go. Now that is a pile of bookmark pouches. Okay, so I got a restock of my first bookmark pouch, which is the let's this up, which is the Bookworm Essentials one. So this one has, I believe it's a T bottom, puffs out for bookmark pouches. This was the first one I ever did. And then I wanted to get a new one, and this one I did in a different style where it's just completely flat so it doesn't have that bottom effect. And this is going to be the Book of Dreams pattern. Oh my gosh. I am so happy with this. Look at it. Look how cute. It's a pretty good size too. Look at that. Think of how many bookmarks you can store in this thing. Both traditional and magnetic. Look at this. I am so happy with this quality. I can't even begin to explain it. It's just, it's perfect. It's everything I could have hoped for. I'm so, so happy. So usually what I do is as I'm creating artwork and collections, if it's a product, like the only thing I buy from this manufacturer are these. So if it's something like that, and I know it kind of takes a little bit longer than like bookmarks or stickers, I will go ahead and like get these sent into production, even if the rest of the collection isn't finished yet. Because I have, I think two or three, I think three more designs, yeah, three more designs to finish, and then the collection will be all done. A Bookish Dreams book sleeve and a Bookish Dreams bookmark pouch look together. Keep your bookmarks and your book safe. So happy with these. I love them. All right, this is bookmark restock. Yay. Okay. So we got the plant bookshelf, the plant pattern. We got the botanical bookshop. This is, I think, one of my favorites that I've done, if I have to say. 
the Cozy Fall Vibes bookmark, which is part of the Mitty Kitty collection, and more ladybugs, because I was getting very low in my ladybug bookmarks. Those have been very popular this year. Wait, is this bookmarks? This is, looks to be. Wow, I didn't think my bookmarks would be so heavy. All right, we got books are better at the beach, beach day essentials, late night book fair, and botanical book stack, and just me, my book, and the moon. All right, we have one more box, and this, finally, I know a lot of people have been asking for this, and this is more Meet Me at Book Lovers Lane weekly planner journals. Okay guys, that's gonna be it for this studio vlog. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this one. I am off to go start drawing. Thank you. <laughs> I'm off to go start drawing more of my summer collection as well as trying to finish up the bookish dreams. And I will have some sneak peeks of those for you guys very, very soon. And until next time, I hope you guys are reading some amazing books and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. <laughs>